Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of influencer makeup, influencer and celebrity makeup, makeup brands. I have a bunch of products here that I've realized I've accumulated and they're about, they're by more celebrity makeup artist-esque, um, what's the other word for it, influencers. I usually start with brows and eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick. I don't have a product for brows. Maybe technically, I mean this is the brand Arches and Halo, Arches and Halos and it's Tanya Crooks Professional Brow Products. You can find these in CBS. I think that they're super nice. I'm obsessed. It kind of gives me like Anastasia energy with like the two-tone pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and I'm gonna do my brows real quick. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Back in the brows are filled. Ugh, back in the brow. I fucked that up. Oh, I don't wanna say I don't wanna use this. Here's the thing. This palette's really pretty. I'm just not, they're just not shadow colors that I, the shimmers, I think I'll get good use out of. I have all of the Be Perfect Carnival palettes, well, three. I have the Carnival XL, Antidote, and then Tahiti, which they're great palettes. I love them all. Gotta put my spectacles on to read here. I also have the Bianca Linares palette with uh, Hank and Henry, which, again, we've got all the colors in the universe to work with here. I just did a really natural look, so I know I shouldn't do a natural look. I'm gonna sit here for 10 hours. I can also use the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette here, which is all the colors you could ever need. I went on vacation and I took this and my Tati Beauty palette. Oh, RIP to a legend. This brand was fabulous. I'm so sad we never got to see any more products from them because this formula is so good. Yellows would be weird, wouldn't it? But like, could it be a vibe? I think that could be fun. Or am I just gonna look sick? Like, am I gonna look jaundice -y? That might happen. I'm gonna start off with the Be Perfect palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Buttercup. I remember liking this shade and I'm gonna kind of start to shape the look with this. Yellow should blend so easily. Like, it should be the best color in an eyeshadow palette. And if it sounds like I have a cold, it's because I'm getting over a cold. So again, packing this in here, I have a pretty simple eye to do makeup on. I'm also gonna go in with the shade Dove. I think that says Dove. I can't visually see right now. Can't visually see, as opposed to what? Audibly seeing? Is that a thing? Um, I'm gonna start to kind of buff this out a little bit, just so we can get a nice gradient going. I usually do like a cut crease shape with my eye looks. I'm gonna go in here to the Raw Beauty Christie palette into the shade Camelot. This like really pretty yellow. It doesn't look much darker, but trust me, it's like a hair. Watch, I'm gonna put it on, it won't be. Nah, that's like slightly deeper and slightly warmer, perfect. And like redefine the crease a little bit, just enforcing what we kind of just built up. That's really pretty. Also, sorry I'm doing the annoying beauty thing where you look into the um, viewfinder. I don't have a viewfinder, so I'm literally looking into my phone. This is being filmed on my phone, could you tell? I'm gonna go into the shade Zest in the Be Perfect Antidote palette, just because again, it's that depth of the yellow. Like how much deeper can a yellow get? Slightly deeper. Right now we're in like, I almost said butter territory, but I think we're a little, we're a little deeper than butter. Like melted butter. I'm gonna go into the Carnival, that's literally called yellow. Great. Take me to Tahiti palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and buff Wow, how many yellow eyeshadows can I possibly pack on that look very similar? Right into that crease, and I like to wing it out a little bit to kind of lift the eye. I guess we do a little bit of a brown. I'm scared. Is anybody else scared? Literally can't read that. Why is the writing could be a little bit bigger, everybody? Lotta Latte from the Antidote palette. It's kind of like a neutral brown, almost, and I'm gonna just start to buff this on the outer corner first that way if my commitment issues have an ass doesn't like it we don't have to be like oh no it's everywhere now and again i'm gonna follow up and do the same thing we've been doing which is where we start to buff things into that crease so we get that definition that's like wow is this like the exact color i wanted to do this with if that makes sense i'm also going to mix in a little bit of the shade chestnut and again, just kind of deepening this up and rounding out the hollow of my eye. I'm gonna go in here with that chestnut shade a little bit heavier on that outer corner. Anyone been seeing Megan Trainor's TikTok? 
her and Chris Olsen. It's kind of, it gives, I don't know. I just love it. Okay, so now that we've got that pretty much where I want it. Ooh, goddamn. Oh, I don't have my cellar water over here. That's pretty. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease now. I'm going to go in here with the REM Beauty Concealer, uh, Ariana Grande's brand. Um, I have the, share, the shade Fair 2N. But the coverage is, like, unreal. Like, literally the smallest amount. And that's already, like, perfect. Oops. If you've ever seen one of my looks and you've wondered why my cut crease ends up so high sometimes, sometimes it's intentional. Sometimes it's because I can't see it. It's a poor judgment of how high that crease area is. I'm going to use my finger to kind of tap that edge a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with the Michaela palette. Lamlight X Michaela, because some of these shimmers. Oh, which one should I use? This one's like calling my name. I know I probably should use this one, but I think it has a, yeah, it's got a green shift to it. Well, the colors in that palette aren't colors I usually use in my own eyes that frequently. The formula is phenomenal. Love Glamlight Cosmetics. If you haven't tried their products, I really think you should. That shade's not giving what I thought it would. I'm gonna go into the shade Six Rose In Top Row Color of the Be Perfect palette. This has a little bit more of a yellow tone to it. Take a shot every time I say the word yellow. Go back in there with chestnut and kind of buff into that shade. Oh, I know where I have a good brown shimmer. Sorry about it, bitch. Oh, you know what, though? Oh, could I top with some glitter? I mean, you always could top anything with glitter. Okay, I'm going to go in here with the Tati Beauty shade in the shade Soothe. Or the Row Soothe and then into the glitter texture. Okay, I want to take a little bit of her dark brown, but the shade that has glitter, the matte one with the glitter, it's fine. We're, you know what? When in doubt, buff the glitter out a little bit more. Oh, that's... Oh my god, that's pretty. I was about to wipe this eye makeup off. I hope you're aware of that. Not on purpose. I fully was about to go whoop. When in reality, I wanted to go like this. Oh, look at that. That actually turned out really pretty. Okay, I'm going to go do the other eye off of camera, and I will be right back for liner lashes-esque. Because I'm back, I'm back, you know I'm back. I know it's bad, but I'm saying back. I'm going into the Tati Beauty palette, into the black shade. Okay, the black shades scare me, but I'm gonna take the glittery one, the sequence shade, sequined, sequence, and I'm gonna line some of my lash line with it, just so that it's really on there. And I don't have to stress, because I'm not going for like a wing look, but I do want, there to be structure on my outer corner. And then when I go in, I have like a guide of where I'm getting the liner to. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's fine. This is such a quick step. Now I am the kind of person who's gonna go do the rest of my makeup. And I'm gonna come back to the eyes at the very end to do like liner, mascara, lashes. If that annoys you, just pretend I'm not doing it. And we'll be good. Um, so I did have the Tatcha Silk Canvas, not Silk Canvas, I apologize. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream underneath like as a base of like skincare. I wiped some of that off though because I was like cleaning up under my eyes. So my under eyes are a little, not dry. Dry is not the right word, but it is the word I used. <laughs> okay, so I love the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. The e.l.f. Halo Glow is in fact a dupe. I want to use the e.l.f. one because I've been using it, but that's not a celebrity nor is it a collab. Oh, also I'm going in here with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Inch enriched face base and i'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eye i know they make an eye base i don't know if that's like an upper eye or under eye i think i had a sample of it i think it's just a denser version of this but anyways i'm gonna make sure we're nice and hydrated because the rem beauty concealer is the concealer i'm gonna be using today and that bitch is not dry but like it just has such a sticky formula okay i don't use pot concealers like ever I, this is the first one i've ever had so someone chime in down below with some thoughts and opinions do you feel like this one's dry? Because, like, it's creamy. The thing is, it's, like, it's really creamy, but it has such... It's, like, a structure, like, a tackiness to it. It's not dry. It's tacky. And I kind of like that, but I don't. Anyways, I'm going to go in here with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in the shade 2. Wow, two's my lucky number today. The REM concealer's in the shade 2. Hollywood Flawless Filter's in the shade 2. Something else in my life was a 2. Oh, wow, that's light. That's, like, not my color. Interesting. I was on vacation recently and like I struggle like 
I don't feel like I ever feel like I get a tan. Also, I know my face is like hella red right now. You don't have to tell me. I'm aware. Oh, speaking of brands, I should use my fabulous hand mirror from Trixie Cosmetics. Um, I always wanted one of the, I don't even want to say the brand name, but that sounds stupid. Um, they're shaped like stars. They're hand mirrors and they're star shaped from a brand that I don't know if we collectively have canceled, but I just no longer support, associate. Anyways, um, if you don't know, just Google star hand mirror and I think you'll be able to find what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I always wanted one of those and I think I got one in a mystery box once. God, remember when mystery boxes were like the thing? And like, I really liked it. But then I was like, I don't want to use this. Like, I know I already paid for it, but like, it's just not worth it. I'm gonna go with the Patrick Star One Size Beauty Secure the Blur Primer. I have yet to really understand if this does anything, but it's because I use glowy products underneath, so I can't really tell. And I don't feel like my pores are like awful, but you be the judge. I keep using it, so I think I like it. I like the way it performs with foundation too. Cause you know some of them are like too silicone-y and too like slippy. This one like almost feels like it mattifies a little bit, but like blurs. So I think it works. I think it does something. I'm just a stupid idiot. Oh, but then I was putting in a Trixie cosmetic order and I think I needed to like hit a shipping goal. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just go for it. And I got the mirror too. So happy I did. It's, oh, look how fucking cute. Wow, I just looked at myself in the mirror way too close. Next one I'm gonna go with Hank and Henry. I think this is a contour stick. Look at that glow. See, the Charlotte one's really nice, but so is the e.l.f. one. Like the e.l.f. one feels the exact same. This is the Hank and Henry Cream Contour Stick and it's in the shade Ambrosia. I'm gonna go in here with a brush. You know, that's an interesting shade name for this because isn't Ambrosia like Ambrosia Salad, like a jello? I don't think it's brown. I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt right here. Here's the thing, this shade's really warm. So like cream contour for who? Like, it's a cream bronzer, I feel like. Oh, you know what? In person, it's not as warm as it looks. Like, it's warm, but it's got this, like, sculpty depth to it. I take everything I just said back. Not everything. I think I've only used this product once or twice, and I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like it. But, like, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge and kind of soften that a little bit, because that was a lot. If you're not familiar with underpainting, it's when you're kind of going heavier on your base layer, because we're gonna go ahead and veil it with foundation. And then the sculpting's almost done for you and you almost have like a map. And it's a way to look really, really, really nice. But not super heavy because you're not going in with like a lot of cream foundation product. Yeah, this blends really nicely. Like I know you see that. The sponge does like drink up that product, but like do you see how easily that blends? And like it, it did what it needed to do. If you have not tried the House Labs Triclone, what the fuck is this called? Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, you should. I originally got the shade 145, which like I think is a good shade match. Actually, I lied. I originally got the shade 220, which I was drunk when I ordered it, so I don't know what, what I was thinking. It doesn't look that crazy in the bottle, but the model is definitely not my color, and this is really, really warm tone, which just doesn't make sense to me. Like, what was I thinking? I think I was just thinking I want it, and that shade looks fine. But I ordered it on, or I ordered the Rem Beauty Concealer on Ulta, and you got a free sponge, which, first of all, kind of made the sponge feel like it was way cheaper than it was, or the concealer feel like it was cheaper. I haven't used it yet. Oh, wow. Do you see how that like immediately is just like coverage, city, super pretty. It's also really, really lightweight. And that's what I really appreciate about it. I'm gonna use a brush to like kind of be a little more precise with where I'm putting this, but I will blend out with Miss Ariana, her sponge. Don't worry. I am normally like a two concealer at minimum person. Like I'm not here using two concealers casually. It's so crazy because that looks like I got the big stark white shade, but I did not, I promise. Now, I did see, oh my god, what is her name? I cannot think of what her name is, but she's fabulous on TikTok. She's the one who can identify literally any dupe that you might need. She is a gorgeous trans woman. Anyways, I think she was talking about how she does her makeup, and she's like, she really like pronounces right here to pull your face forward because, you know, it like feminizes your face a little bit. I look insane. You know what? I take it back. This sponge is kind of cool. Like, the way it picks up product. Like, it picks up exactly what you need, and then you can kind of, like, you can still get in there. Like, it's a weird shape, but I'm not mad about it. Also, I think if it was, like, the right color for me as a person, that's so great. From far away, it looks like I'm wearing a full coverage concealer. In person, it's very much giving, like, if this was the right color, like, if I was using this 
to spot conceal or to, I don't know, do something a little more subtle or natural. Like this looks like it would just blend in and look like skin. And when I tried the Gaga House found or the House Labs Lady Gaga brand um, foundation, I use this concealer too, which I thought I was liking, but I'm like realizing I'm loving right now. And I just felt like I was looking like I had the best skin day of my life. And I couldn't quite figure out why, but I think we figured it out. Wow, it's not the right color for me at all, is it? Next up, I'm gonna do Charlotte Tilbury uh, Contour Wand. I don't wanna hear about it because I know this product is chronically sold out. I have, I'm taking the Rare Beauty Concealer, Selena Gomez's brand. I have the shade uh, Joy and Love. I like to mix them. It's such a good combination because this one's a little bit more bricky and this is like a, almost too coral for you in this world i think this is the shade that i'm using on my face um one two three we'll do three. Oh, that's gonna look way too warm but i think it's gonna balance out trust the process i like to take my finger and some of the foundation that we're using and i mix it in with the blush and it creates this perfect and i mean first of all do you see the house labs coming through for that glow Oh, watch, this is gonna be my new favorite uh, blush. And it's like a fucking random concoction on my hand. It creates this like seamless blend because you're getting that skin tone color that you need, but then you're also getting your blush color. Wow, somebody tell me that I don't look fucking insane right now. I think I look fucking insane right now. Hire me to do your makeup for your wedding, everybody. I wanna use a brush today because like I don't use a foundation brush often, but I kinda wanna see if I like this foundation with a brush. I've never used this foundation brush before. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's not my color at all, is it, besties? Uh-uh. So the thing with this technique, if you've seen this Tati Beauty, or Tati Westbrook, Scott Barnes video, you already know this technique. I'm not, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. Like, I'm just, I'm explaining something if you've never heard of it, I guess. That is not my color, but we'll make it work. Here's the other thing I've noticed. If the foundation shade isn't your color, when you powder it, you can kind of like disguise that a little bit. But you know what though? Do you see on my forehead how that blends in really nicely? Is it not my color or is my face just not one even color? That literally is blending in like butter. Here's the thing, I'm not a brush person for my foundation. Also for some reason that concealer is looking like an insane shade. So I'm gonna take this foundation a little bit closer into the center of my face than I normally would. I'm not the type of person to bring their foundation like under their eye because I think it looks cakey and that's how you end up with like too much product filled up. I'm a sponge girly. I just am. I don't know though because it doesn't look that crazy. Okay, now that I got that laid down with a uh, brush, I'm gonna go with the sponge. I just don't think I can help myself. I felt like when I used a sponge, it was like you could kind of tell that it was like a sheer formula than like if you would use a brush. But you know there's coverage because like it kind of covered up all the underpainting work I did. To kind of hide the fact that this isn't my shade, I am going to go in with the other shade that I purchased, the shade 145, with the sponge. And I'm going to use that to kind of blend into my neck a little bit more. You know how everyone like tries to get that like wet look? I look wet. Like, hello? The other fucking fabulous concealer I wanted to get in this gig with was the Flower Beauty Concealer. Uh, I've been loving that. That one's dry. That one is a matte concealer, but she's giving you coverage. We're gonna, again though, realize that it's not my shade. Actually, you know what? Compared to the REM one, it's a lot better. Okay, like the REM concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Juno & Co sponge, or I like the REM sponge, but under the eyes, I've just learned that this gives me the coverage that I want or something about it. If you've never tried it, 10 out of 10 recommend it. Also, you can kind of see that that's matte because it takes away the glow from the foundation just a smidge. Um, the House Labs Fund the House Labs Foundation doesn't dry down to like a matte finish, but I know some people don't want a matte finish, so like, it's not a bad thing. I'm gonna take this sponge and just kind of blend over that new concealer shade a little bit. Do you see that? The other day it was doing that. It was like this weird thing where it's like lifting my concealer, but only on one side of my face. Maybe it's the sponge. I feel like my sponge is a little dirty. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now that I kinda, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more contour stick or contour wand. I am ridiculous and extra and I just, I can. I'm doing it because I can. Like, I know you see the glow that the House Labs Foundation has. If you've never tried it, or I'm sorry, it's new. So if you haven't tried it yet, 
You have to get your hands on it. Okay, don't hate me. I like a certain powder underneath my eyes. I'll cave today. Okay, I'm gonna go in here with the Kimchi Chic Beauty Puff Puff Pest Powder. Love this as a setting powder. I like it, whoa. Okay, I'm going in the shade, or in with the shade white, which is like a no color powder. It's not like a white. Like it's gonna look like that as I set. Like if I bake with it, it will look like white. But I promise you, it won't leave you like crazy looking. I usually like a little bit of the powder with more coverage underneath my eye. But I'm gonna try to keep this to only brands that are celebrity and influencer owned. Okay, so then once we get that gorgeous set locked, oh, powder is unreal. It will blur you out like no other. It's so good. It is going to reduce some of that glow that we get from the House Labs Foundation because that was obviously some of the skincare benefits in it, but I'm not a don't set your face kind of person. I'm just not built for it. And I saw some of these people I follow on TikTok. I can't think of what their names are. There's this Australian girl who reviews people's makeup bags, which honestly I really wanted to like inspirationally do that to people in my life. I don't think anyone I know would give me their makeup bag and let me be like, what is this? Like they're unfiltered, like literal, if they had to go somewhere tomorrow and needed to wear makeup to go to this place and packed up the shit that they use, like that makeup bag. Not like, well, I own this. Like, nah, I want the unfiltered. This is literally like shit that was sitting on your, like bathroom sink. Okay. Next up, oh, I want a bronze. I have two bronzers from two different makeup people or influencer S people. They're really similar in different ways. Like the tone of them, like they're they're both too dark for me, I think is what I'm trying to nicely say. We have the Trixie Cosmetics Flower Power Bronzer, which first of all, this compact is everything. It's giving like Marc Jacobs pan, like it's huge. Like this is another bronzer, it fits in it. This is in the shade Peace Out Poppy. Um, so you kind of get like a little bit more of a neutral tone to sculpt and then a more warm tone. I like to swirl. There's a highlighter in here. It's not highlighting anything on my face. But then I also have the Makeup by Mario um, Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Medium. This is the only one in stock. Don't come for me. I like how I'm prerequisitively being like, I don't want to hear any shit because I got a dark bronzer. Because I am not medium skin toned. I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm aware. I'm self-aware enough to know that I'm not of a medium complexion. But what can you do? You know, sometimes it just be like that. I'm gonna go in here with the Makeup by Mario one and I'm gonna start with this in this region. Like, oh, literal soft sculpt. This brush though is so nice. I found an Amazon dupe for the Makeup by Ario brushes and they're just not the same. Like they don't do, they're, they're really, really close, but like this brush specifically is not the same. Let me backtrack. Cause if you saw my TikTok, you're gonna be like, um, but didn't you recommend them? I did, for the price point, they're nice. They're fabulous. But like this brush, it's not the same as this brush. This is like denser. I'm gonna go in with the Trixie one now and kind of explain to you what I mean. And I'm gonna go in with the more, I don't wanna say contour shade because that's not what it is. But like, this one's just not as fluffy. It's nice, but it just doesn't have that fluff. And I'm gonna kind of marry them together. I'm gonna go in here with the Morphe I don't know, the old school one that everyone used to fucking use to bronze with, the paddle fat one, the fat paddle brush. I chin itched. But we're gonna tap off because the shade is definitely of the warmer variety. Blushes that I'm gonna go in here with. Yeah, it's gonna be the Trixie Cosmetics Mod About You Blush Palette. First of all, packaging, so good. You get three shades, the mirror's fabulous. But you get three shades in here. One's a highlighter, two blushes. It's so good. The formula is out of this world. I'm gonna go into both of them because I've been liking both of these shades. And like, as you can kind of tell with the Rare Beauty blushes, like, I like this color for a blush. And like, you know that one looked really crazy? Here's the thing that Miss Mattel did. She made a blush formula that's like buildable. So like, obviously you see I'm still packing it on here. 
and we're getting that color, but the first swipe wasn't overwhelming. I have some blushes from Hank and Henry that I cannot use. Now, in Hank and Henry's defense, did I purchase like the fucking neon colored blush? Clown. I look like a clown and it's my fault. I don't know, I just feel like they weren't workable and I wish they were slightly less pigmented. Like I hardly gave them a gentle, encouraging tap and I was like colorful. Which is fine, do you bitch? But like, it's not for me. God, this base looks so good. I'm gonna go with like a powdery, like, I don't know, just a powder fluffy brush and I wanna dust off that under eye powder a little bit. I don't have a setting powder like a face setting powder from a, an influencer brand. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a stretch here. I'm gonna try again the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder that Tati Westbrook really loves. I tried this one time, I think it was on vacation, and my skin looked right. Like I was looking correct. So I'm just gonna kinda dust this underneath my eye where I was baking and then into the blush a little bit. I mean, I just look good. You can't deny it, you know? Okay, I'm also gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Compact Foundation because I live for this shit. But like, I just feel like I can't not, you know? I'm just so used to using this. Like, this is one of those products that I hit pan on, which first of all, I don't wear makeup every day. So for me to hit pan on a product, I've got to really like it or be using an obscene amount of it. And what you're probably witnessing right now is this is a little bit of both. Oh, and when I sculpt my cheek, I like to like, like marionette sculpt that bitch, like curve that bitch up. Like, look at this base. The next product I'm going to go in here with, again, it's an influencer product, but don't hate me. The House Labs, the first House Labs, the Amazon House Labs, this liner is beyond human. It's so good. I'm gonna try to do it on camera, just so you can, I don't know, see it? I don't know what seeing it's gonna do for you though. I don't know, it's just so pigmented. It lasts so nicely. The wand brush is so precise and it's like really long. I cannot say enough good things about it. They didn't bring this over to the new line. I'm kind of mad about it. Green Lash Princess. I don't think this one's waterproof. The blue one is, and I don't want this to be waterproof. I stopped putting mascara on before my falsies for a while, and I would put the falsies on then the mascara, and I feel like my lashes were looking wonky for a little bit, and nobody was telling me. The next product I'm using is by Glamlight. I love Glamlight as a brand. I just love the creativity that goes, like, that is behind the products. This is the Bacon Cheeseburger Lash. I tried these the first time I ordered from Glamlight and they're so pretty and soft. I don't even think I had to cut them. The bands, thick but thin. Like it's thick enough that you can still apply it, but you know how sometimes when you get those thin lash bands? Also, I saw this TikTok the other day and it was like when you get lash glue on your new lashes and I didn't understand it at the time, but I do now. Oops. I just pulled lashes out of this fresh lash. Oh, but like the lash band's like thick enough. Cause you know sometimes the thin lash bands are not correct. I need some structure to get the lash to actually apply how I want it to. Otherwise you're just fighting with it and there's nothing to like grip onto. Is that lash enough? Is it? See, I think this is the problem. I really like these lashes, but they are very natural. I don't know, are they enough? Some fucking person I know is gonna look and be like, Andrew, how are they not enough? Clearly they're enough. But like, are they? Like, I'm a big lash wearing hoe. Or at least a medium. Like, I like a medium lash. I don't want like the 33 millimeter lengthy bitches that like look crazy. I think I stacked these with another lash that I like and that was why I love them so much. But I don't feel like doing that unless I have to. No, that might be correct. That might be correct, guys. Is that correct? And I probably, at this time, will not be giving you the name of who I think may have, or why does it stop? It can't be that I don't have storage left because I have a pretty fat storage phone, but like it's still going right now. 
I don't know when that stopped recording and I'm actually mad because I've been sitting here fucking talking. <sighs> okay. I... I hope you got most of me doing my base. I used the Trixie Cosmetics bronzer, um, the Trixie Cosmetics blush palette, the Makeup by Mario bronzer, kimchi setting powder. I'm going in with the Glam Light lashes right now in the style Bacon Cheeseburger. I'm like upset. It's like not possible. Like it's recording still and I didn't do anything different. Like I didn't set it on a timer. I'm mad. I'm sorry. I know it's not your fault, but like, you know, because I really try. I tr I have tried to do the YouTube thing. I'm not the best at it. I'm gonna go with a Rare Beauty setting spray. I always forget to shake it, but today I did not. <coughs> too much. Too much. Oh my god, way too much. Set my face first with that one or just a moisturizing one. Honestly, someone was telling saying that that was like hella long wear. Oh, these lashes are hurting my inner corners because of the way I pinched them. It's fine. But these aren't like, I don't know. That setting spray to me feels very moisturizing. There's like a layer in it, so you have to shake it before you use it because it kind of separates. You can kind of see it. I think it says shake well before use, but it's really pretty. And I think it makes your skin look like skin again. Like, just see how luminous. All that luminosity is just juiced back up into your face. Like, I powdered that bitch down. Like, down. Down the house. Down the house labs. Sorry, I thought that was funny. I want to make this super fast because my phone's being weird and I gotta figure it out. I think... I don't know. I think my camera is set to, like, record video at high quality and I didn't realize how much storage that took up. I have, like, 250 gigabytes on my phone and it's, like, pissed at me right now. It's, like, not wanting to record this this ending of this video. So, finishing off with the Makeup by Michaela highlighter. And then I'm gonna finish, finish um, my lips. Oh, I'm gonna use the Tony the Tiger lipstick because I'm also doing this for another series on TikTok. You can go check that out. I'm trying to find a dupe for my favorite lipstick that ABH discontinued. So that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some other videos that you'd like to see. Are you into makeup tutorials, makeup instructional things? Because I feel like I've never really dipped into that kind of content. It's always just been like talking and doing makeup. But I do do makeup with my job. So like, if that's something you like to see, comment down below that you'd be interested in that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.